is this uh, infinite? No, I think they're probably going to save infinite for last. is now complete. No, it is Halo. He does a semi-on there. Technology will save humanity in the war to come. That's the that's Master Chief's armor. I must oh, yeah. remind myself. Yeah. Wow, they just they just lead it off with Halo. Right off the gate. Man. Right off the bat. <laughs> yeah. Titanium <clears throat> alloy cannot prevail in the face of extinction. Armor cannot hope. Yup. It all means nothing. Initialize. Until you step inside. Oh, is that the birth of the suit? <clears throat> is that the shrine? Either that or they upgraded or gave him a new one. Infinity. Or infinite. Infinite. Am I dead infinite. Already? I, I must be. I mean, <clears throat> this is a punishment, right? Ooh, demo. Ooh. This oh, is just... actually lost. <laughs> no! No! No, 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 no! This isn't happening. I'm going to have to make an emergency landing. Hold on, shit! I'm curious where, if we're ever going to see his face at all. I have Probably been not. Safe since I found you. I found you, remember? You were out there on your own, and you'd still be out there if it wasn't for me. I thought I was going home. There won't be a home if we don't stop the banished. You keep saying that. We're outgunned, outnumbered. I know I saw condors over there. I'm going to dig through them and find one with the working sleep space drive. And when you're done with this war, we'll get away from here. Far away. Wait here. <clears throat> oh. Is there a grappling hook on his left arm? Let me see what I can find. Cannons first. When I get back. Oh, no, it kind of looks like look. it, right? Or like some type of HUD. Together. <sighs> okay, big guy. Or is that like a retractable sword? Let's go. Did you play Guardians? No, I didn't. <clears throat> I wonder if it's open world now. That's what that's what people were saying uh, initially, right? Or what the rumors? 
Because the way that map pulled up kind of looks like it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can put markers on it. Did he just roll? <laughs> Is that a new feature? Yeah, that's that's a new gun. That's a, is that a new VR? Ooh. Oh, nice! You guys shoot your armor off. Oh. Ooh, new, new abilities. <laughs> Oh, hey, wait, that was grappling hook. <laughs> Maybe you are ready, grappling. Yeah, yeah, it has a cooldown. Interesting. Well, he had the shield before, um, but it was more like a bubble. No, yeah, the bubble oh, shield, I like know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you couldn't shoot through it, right? No, you couldn't shoot through it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, real question. Can you zoom in with your pistol? <laughs> I'm loving the new sound effects or the revised sound effects for the weapons. They make it sound like as if like more punchy. They, they sound like they do they do damage, honestly. Oh my god. Grappling though. Oh, I know. You can use it. It seems like you can use it to unlock uh, not just enemies but the environment as well. The UNSC lost this war months ago. Your people are broken, scattered, hunted. Is that age rocks? <laughs> I wish I could tell you it was difficult, but it wasn't. <laughs> we are one step ahead, always. The ring is already under our control. Soon, the auditorium as well. The Harbinger and the Banished share the same goal. We fight together to honor the will of Atriarchs. But without change, uh, I, I grew followers of, Atri of Atriarchs. Lost. Alone. But here you now stand. This is my last True test of legends, our story will outlive us both. <sighs> Set a fire in your heart, Spartan. Bear your fangs. Fight hard. Die.
That was a little bit scary and both inspiring. Nope. Just give it to me already. Holiday 2020. We hope you enjoyed your first look at Halo Infinite's campaign. I'm incredibly proud of the team at 343, and we're thrilled to share a hint of the epic battles that await you on the next chapter of Master Chief's journey. This is the most ambitious campaign we've ever created at 343. For the first time, players will have the freedom to explore a mysterious new Halo ring that's several times larger than our last two Halo games combined. Halo Infinite has been built from the ground up to take full advantage of Xbox Series X. Bigger battles, epic vistas. I think I understand more now why effects, displayed with ten they times made the, the processing arts, power so per pixel to Halo 1 of Halo Combat 5. Evolved. This will be running at a flawless 60 frames per second and will allow us to bring the Halo ring to life in ways that have never been possible before. We look forward to sharing even more about Halo Infinite in the coming months, including the first look at multiplayer. That's it. That's pretty much and like standard now, standard please enjoy consoles. a glimpse of what others in the Xbox Game Studios family. Yeah, have been but on. Uh, I guess. I guess World so. World premiere. Can I go past 60 frames if it's on PC? <laughs> it's gonna come out on PC at the same time. Well, it just said Xbox uh, and, and Game Pass and PC holiday 2020. Is this like Rust? A uh, survival type game? Ooh, nice water effects. State of Decay. Oh, I gotta play that. Wow. Welcome everyone to the Xbox Game Showcase. Today, we're showing no. games from nine hey, of yeah, our 15 Spencer. Xbox Game Studios, including unveils of five new first party games. Oh, yeah. What you'll see today is how Xbox Game Studios are World's harnessing Edge, their passions to bring their dreams to life. We believe that how you find and play your games is as important as the device you play them on. Xbox Game Pass is the best way to discover and play. And we want you to be able to experience as many great games as possible. So Game Pass members, you can play every game you see today from your subscription or free to play. These games will look and play best on Xbox Series wow. X, delivering unmatched fidelity, performance, precision, and immersion. And we've designed the most consistently powerful next generation console. And we've built state-of-the-art platform technology to allow every developer to realize their full vision. One studio that has always pushed the limits of our hardware is Turn 10. And they're early in development on the next Forza Motorsport and Xbox Series X is bringing them closer to their Forza. dream huh. of unprecedented realism with ray tracing and native 4K resolution all at 60 frames per second. The trailer you're about to see was captured completely in engine. World premiere. <laughs> This is the new Forza. Mm-hmm. 
in-game engine. Nice ray tracing. <laughs> Yeah, I mean they're like rivals, right? <clears throat> For it's a motorsport. Yeah. Man, <laughs> PC. Our world has a rhythm. We all sense it. But only a few truly feel it. It is found in the smallest moments. In every step of a perilous journey. In the symmetry of ritual. In the this reminds me of something. I can't put my finger on it though. And in moments of stillness, it teaches us to look beyond the expected. To be a light in dark places. Just barf out the fishes. <laughs> That's my baby. To seek answers. Uh. And to stand watch over our world. Our world has a rhythm. We all sense it. But only a few truly feel it. Like ever wild, ever wild. Everwild will give to you I was gonna a say, is that like a untamed uh, English natural version world of for you Princess to Mononoke. explore and to just truly lose yourself in. It's At a first place I thought it was gonna be, be like Legend of Korra or something like that. And Eternal has the gift to sense mm. and feel how magic flows through nature and connects every living thing. Mm. The team here at Rare are so excited to be working on something like Everwild. And I hope you're excited too. But I just want to take this opportunity to say a massive, massive thank you to everyone who's shown their support and love and for the incredible, awesome, positive community that's already growing around this game. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Whoa, I just got hit with a flood of memories. Love you, Mom. You seeing what I'm seeing? Mom? Allison? Yeah. It doesn't matter that they don't believe us. We all believed that what happened that night was self-defense. But we couldn't be sure. It doesn't matter that they kept us apart. Brother, sister, we look out for each other. It doesn't matter that finding the truth feels impossible. We're all done with fairy tales. The only thing that matters is you're my brother. And the only way to move forward Mom. is to keep looking back. 
We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Everything we thought we knew about Marianne just got thrown out the window. She loved you. She attacked you. We both saw it. I thought coming here would be closing a chapter of our lives. Nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. We don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. I can't do this. Hey everyone, my name is Gennady. I'm the co-founder and director of technology at Moon Studios. Today we are very excited to tell you that we're working on a very, very special version of Ori and the Will of the Wisps, specifically for Xbox Series X. We are now at a time where we can reach levels of fidelity and frame rates previously absolutely impossible on any console. An already gorgeous game like Ori can now run at 120 Hz refresh rate in full 4K HDR in its highest quality, delivering unprecedented game feel with silky smooth animation, super crisp sharp image, and low oh, input latency, which is just so important for the tight and precise platforming That's... feel of this game. We can also boost the immersion in different spaces in our world by using premium audio tech that we previously so what does that mean the series x can push the 120 time. and with all of this crazy hardware power, so. we can give our players more <laughs> options with how they want to play i guess games. i don't know i mean I wait for all of you to experience i haven't really, I haven't really heard much about the hardware the series to x. xbox series x with smart delivery later this year From the furthest reaches of the universe comes the biggest mystery in the galaxy. An abandoned research facility, and now shady corporate intrigue. Oh, is this uh... the Gorgon asteroid? Uh, a sordid stopover. I forget what it's called. <laughs> Full of salacious secrets. Outworld. Other world. Scandalous strangers. Outworld. Greetings, attractive patron. You are looking downright unlawful today. With the right kind of case, they wanted us to develop oh, a miracle drug. Can put you on the wrong side of a gun. Or sword. Or this thing. Thrills. Danger. Intrigue. A word of advice yeah, before like you go, a, um, Captain. Trust a borderlands no feel, but it's space. What will you find on Gorgon? <laughs> this unit cannot bring you any drinks in its current state. The Outer Worlds. Outer Worlds! There we go. It is Outer Worlds. Man, I haven't even played the first one yet because it hasn't come on Steam. September 9th. If you're waiting for the biggest game of the year. Yeah, I haven't played the, uh, the main game yet. Then wait for Cyberpunk. Ooh. But if you're ready for the <laughs> smallest, we've got you covered. Oh, wow. No way. From Obsidian Entertainment, the makers of games that are nothing like, like this one. Oh, Fortnite see. Mini. Fortnite? <laughs> This but summer, many. strive together to thrive together. Uh, I don't know if it's for that one. Yeah. Feed your friend to the spiders and go this solo. This more like a um, Minecraft sort of survival. It's 
survive the backyard. Hey guys, Jeremy here, and we're giving away the ultimate stay-at-home pack. It's simple. All you have to do is subscribe to our YouTube channel, where you can join me and my co-host every week as we review video games, movies, and shows. One lucky subscriber will receive a one-month free subscription to Disney+, Plus, Hulu, and Netflix. Plus, MetaHuman Store will throw in a video projector to make movie night every night. So good luck, and I'll see you online. At Obsidian, we're dedicated to pushing it. narrative and role playing games. It's something we do every day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't know how I feel we about that one. What? It's adventure. not a battle royale, though. It's the first of two planned story expansion packs for the Outer Worlds that we're putting together with our friends yeah, from the Studios. private division. Now, it's also that Outer Worlds game looks dope, though. Evolve how we tell stories in games. It's, it's, it's a story expansion. The team I never has been working the for the either. last two years. Yeah, it's Obsidian story supposed to come out on Steam. Now it's like great this that you're year. going to be able to play the game on uh, July 28th on, the Epic on Xbox the Game Preview and on Steam Early Access. We want to hear from you and we want to continue to build around it together. Oh yeah, if you've been wondering, we have been working on that next big Obsidian RPG. Check Wait. this out. Oh, that's probably why. World premiere. Is it New Vegas 2? New Vegas 2? We have New always Vegas known New more. Vegas too. That doesn't look like Vegas. Ah. City is it's come on. Oh, medieval, your favorite. It is my favorite. I'm already interested. Turn heroes into queens and kings. And decimated <laughs> our foes. Now our oaths are lost. And the undead, the evil and the undead is always a good combo. It's like might and magic. And you must face the monsters. Sigand, hey. Our sins have borne. Oh, that's dope. Is this a VR it's game? An oath worth the weight of a crown. Rise or something. About. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. I'm interested in that one for sure. Avowed is an expansive first-person RPG. Medieval, the undead, and the magic. Come on now, let's go. When Obsidian Entertainment joined Xbox Game Studios, they told us that Matt this Booty. epic game mm. is the one they want to make. <laughs> As creators of critically Great acclaimed game. RPGs, this is Obsidian at their best. And it is being built from the ground up to take full advantage of the power of Xbox Series X. At Xbox Game Studios, we also work with independent developers, always with the goal of empowering them to bring their ideas to life. I'm excited to announce our work with Interior Night, a new studio led by some of the most talented storytellers in our industry. Let's meet Caroline Marshall, studio head of Interior Night, to debut their original game. Bonjour, I'm Caroline from Interior Night. Our team is really passionate about interactive storytelling because when you play a story, you step into the character's shoes. You get to experience their fears, their hopes, their conflicts firsthand. And in the process, you learn more about yourself. And this is quite powerful. Our first game spans 30 years in the American Southwest. It's a story about family, resilience, and sacrifice. But most of all, it's about how you will shape the fate of real, flawed people trying to find their way in a world they don't fit in. I hope you enjoyed the trailer. World premiere. Oh, 
Fortune, fortune, smile and fade. I haven't seen you much of late. I need you now. I cannot wait. But wanna look you not around. We were on our way to start a new life that summer. For our family, it was just a stopover. Mine. It was the end of the road. On the ground! Now! The sun went down on all of us that day. Was it fate? Coincidence? No. It was a long forgotten secret. Buried in the dark. All my life, I've been scared of the shadows. But now, I'm finally ready to step into the light. I got your letters. Here at Ninja Theory, we're hard at work on all of our projects including Senua Saga Hellblade 2, which we announced at the Game oh, Ninja Awards Theory. in December. Oh, the of the new Hellblade. Mm -hmm. An incredible 3.5 million players have now experienced Senua's story in Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. We're excited to start giving you an insight into what comes next for our Celtic Warrior, an experience that we'll be Senua. building in Unreal Engine uh. 5 for Xbox Series X and PC. I'm happy to reveal today that Senua's Saga will be set in the beautiful country of Iceland. And you can find out more about our location scouting and how we've discovered the history of our setting in a brand new behind the scenes development diary, which you can view straight after the show on the Ninja Theory YouTube channel. It's been so touching to see the impact that Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice has had on so many players, and we're incredibly thankful to all of the fans that have been part of Senua's story so far. And we're excited for you to be part of our development journey from here on out. Double fine years, oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, Peter. Oh, Peter, fantastic work. Hey, Jack Black. Very much. It's gonna be fun to sing it. Tim Schaffer. Now it's time to to rock. Shall we start rocking? Is he writing a song for a game? Probably been a long time since you've had. A oh, visit. Ratchet and Clank. No, that's uh, Aeronauts. Did you say Ratchet and Clank? That's PlayStation. Yeah, I know, but I just saw yellow and it's not that. <laughs> Where <Aeronauts>. are we? <laughs> it's a quiet place. Lost alone. Neither skin nor bone. Oh yeah, maybe he is making the song. Just a thought is all I've got. Now my cover's low At the bottom of a lake A frozen feeling When my friends pulled me back up I started Psychedelic. A reason to this run. And 
I don't know, I never played the other ones though, so I don't know how heavy kind of game this is. Oh, this world looks super stony though. They kill the holes I've Unlocking all my memories. I'm loving the seventies vibe to it. <laughs> never. I'm so confused. What's going on? Yeah, I know. Whose glasses even look like they're from the 70s? <laughs> oh, Psychonauts, too. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Why were they saying Aeronauts? Psychonauts. <laughs> oh, I said Octonauts. Oh, I said Aeronauts. <laughs> uh, Psychonauts, I meant. We can't wait for you to experience the amazing games built by Xbox Game Studios. And there is just so much more for you to play on Xbox. We are partnering with thousands of creators, from the largest publishers to the smallest independent developers, to bring you the broadest variety of games ever. There is one developer in particular that is close to us, not just geographically, but in history too. I'm thrilled to announce that this fall, our friends at Bungie will bring Destiny 2 Bungie to Xbox with, um, Series X Destiny, and yeah. Xbox Game Pass. If you are one of the more than 10 million Game Pass subscribers, you also get access to all current Destiny 2 expansions starting this September. For Game Pass Ultimate members, Destiny 2 will also be playable on mobile from the cloud. Later this year, Bungie will also release a new version of Destiny 2 that is optimized for Xbox Series X. 4K resolution running at 60 frames can they, per second. Can they fix their patch their uh, multiplayer Destiny first? I was going to say, can they just fix that whole game in general? Fix the whole game? I've seen terrible things yeah, born it's, out in the need darkness. You need to fix and match that multiplayer. Every moment so broken. Closer. It's time to step beyond the light. Destiny 2 that you can play any way you want thanks to Xbox Game Pass. Some of the world's most inspired developers are working on games for Xbox Series X and we're just honored to be able to collaborate with them. Xbox Series X will empower both new and experienced creators to bring the future of games to life. I wonder if like they're going to reveal um, the cost Unique of it today. perspectives, unexpected the innovations, what? and the cost voices of that demand the Xbox to be heard, Series X. And that we can't oh, wait for probably not. All of the games you're about to see are being built to launch exclusively. I don't think Sony released Xbox a price point. Well, that's what I'm Thanks saying. So I'm curious if enjoy. Xbox is going to do it. No, I don't think it's really smart World to premiere. release it this early. They'll probably really like announce it maybe like a month or two before launch, like Console later this launch year. Exclusive. Yeah, because then I don't think they want to scare people away because it might be a little a bit more pricey. Well, I think both consoles are going to be pricey. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, they're both gonna be on the pricier side of things, so. I'm guessing between like five and six. Yeah, it's possibly. Could be a bit more. You think it's gonna be more than 600? Possibly, yeah. I mean, 
you've seen all the articles, like they're jam packing with like a lot of uh, state of the art hardware. Right. Yeah, but you, you gotta want... remember in the in the console gaming world, like we're not I don't think we're not willing to shuffle out that much money like PC gamers are though. Well, see there's a history there's a there's a precedent behind that, right? Like PlayStation three the I think they pushed the limit and raised the price like you know, they were the first ones to raise the price to like above three hundred. Well that's what Xbox did after the three sixty. Yeah. It was like five hundred fifty bucks or something like that, and then yeah. PlayStation came in lowballing them, and like PlayStation like took the bat, you know. Well, that was for the PS4. I'm saying for the PS3 though, they were the ones that were the high price point ones. So. Well, that's what I'm saying, but it goes to show whoever was the cheaper one seems to like win, you know. Yeah. The Xbox but the price no, no, was a lot cheaper than the PS3. Yeah, but nonetheless, like the price has been like increasing every generation. Oh, Night nice Soccer too. Whoa. World premiere. Stalker. Oh, console launch exclusive. <laughs> so when is it coming to PC then? <laughs> My Lord Inquisitor, I've reached a oh, wait. and begun Warhammer? our investigations. Is this a Warhammer game? Sent into sub-level six of the hive. To it is. <laughs> <extent. laughs> I'll know more so when they get back. Are they the guardsmen? Oh, and protects. If Dark they make it back. Warhammer 40k. Dark Tide. 21. Ooh, that kind of looks interesting. World premiere. I noticed that Xbox has more, like, mature games as, as like, PlayStation had kind of, like, a variety of different... Hmm. Maybe. When you were born, something changed. My heart Are they gonna show Skyrim Grandma in this? The miracle of oh, this is for Xbox players only. Never mind. For me, it's always a I think my favorite controller is like the 360. <laughs> I still use it through Xbox Over the Xbox controller. One? Huh? Over the new one? The new one, it feels really comfortable though. Uh, yeah, I actually like the 360 one the most. Tetris. <laughs> of course. What what kind of game conference would this be without a Tetris reveal? Right? World premiere. <laughs> Steam world. Approaching orbit. Scans a no-go. Sure you want to drop here? Oh yeah. Already lacing up my boots back here. What we got? Another good for nothing space rock? Whoa. Hold on, let me check. Find anything good? 
effects. You're not gonna believe this. Ouch! What the? Okay. Is this like another platformer? Kind of reminds me of like Super Mario Sunshine. Okay, maybe not so much sunshine anymore. <laughs> the gunk. The gunk. Butterfly effect? Is that what we're looking at? It all starts with a dead girl. The forest. The moon. Scent of pines. And then it's like a mystery novel. Every story has two sides. Or a murder mystery. A regular <clears throat> rational one. But also a darker and deeper truth. Not unlike a nightmare. I can see both. Worse. I can live them. Got that Silent Hill feel. Mm -hmm. How, like there's like different dimensions. What is this place? Maybe it is a new Silent Hill. Because she didn't have powers like that. Fantasy Star Online. Oh yeah, PSO. I didn't even see that. <laughs> Possibly. New expansive world. Yep. Oh, it is. Fantasy Star Online. Maybe.
I like how they're just showing the gameplay instead of just like a fancy cinematic trailer. Ah, nice. Go for the ankles! Right? <laughs> Do it like Dark Souls. Bring them down. Yeah, it's Fantasy Star Online 2. Wow, I can't remember like when the first one came out. Or the last one that came out, it was like early 2000s. Luis Torres. It's like a uh, Tom Clancy. No, it's not. Global risk is death of the weapon. Crytek? Cry what is it called? Uh. I guess not. Destiny chose me to save this world. And I will see it die. Blacklist, we make our own path. We protect our own. Can you protect me from failing? Oh, Okay. 17 seconds. This kind of reminds me of like a little bit like uh, Call of Duty. Soon the entire world will Yeah. Die. Like the oh, older Call of Duty pen. games. The ghost is here! Oh, halo jumping. Sweet. Crossfire. Ooh. Interesting. Today, you saw 10 world premieres and 22 console launch exclusives. Game Pass members can play every game you have seen today from Xbox Game Studios and all of our partners in the subscription or free to play. This is just a peek at some of the new titles coming to Xbox Series X. And some of the games you already love and some you have yet to play will also be optimized for Xbox Series X. Games like Forza Horizon 4, Gears 5, and Sea of Thieves. You'll get the next gen upgrades at no additional cost when they nice. launch. You can expect a lineup of over 100 titles for Xbox Series X this holiday season. With Series X and Game Pass, Xbox is the place to play, and you are at the center of everything we do. Now, you may have noticed we didn't get to visit all of our Xbox Game Studios today. That means we'll have more to share later this year. Oh, is this but the end of it? Then, here's one more thing. One more thing. World premiere. What they say? They always say, "Save best for last." It looks like a Gears game. Probably like a Gears of War game. Playground game presents. Okay. Oh, never mind. It's not Gears of War. The world is filled with stories of legendary. Uh oh, oh, medieval. Medieval Jeremy with swords and fairies. That's not even medieval. Mystical <laughs> creatures. And Swords and magic, Jeremy. That's, that's your favorite. That doesn't make it medieval. <laughs> it's not medieval. <laughs> that's like doesn't make any Living sense. Perfect harmony. <laughs> not all stories have happy endings. But yours. Oh, Fable. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, yeah they gave not, me chicken skin. Was not, was not I was not ready for that. I thought the game was dead, dead. Fable, oh dude. I 
That was shocking, actually. <laughs> that was. I was not expecting that. I can't, I can't wait actually and be able to just uh, build up my real estate prop empire and just collect rent from everybody. Yo, so what did you think of today's Xbox showcase? Uh, it was a lot more entertaining than the Sony one uh, with the gaming releases. You think so? I think PlayStation was better. I think the games that they highlighted on PlayStation's one was more like wowing as far as like new games go. I think the only games that really wowed me on the Xbox showcase today was just the AAA games that we know, you know, like Halo. Well, they, yeah, they Fable. released... They, that's what I meant. Like, they announced a lot of the AAA games that people are familiar with. You know, they, right out of the gate, they announced Halo Infinite. But, I mean, we knew... We, I mean, I expected that, you know, off the, off the jump. But, I mean, when it comes to, like, new and inventive games, I feel like PlayStation has uh, it in the bag, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah. For, like, inventive games, creative, like, new in the, in the, in the games, yeah. I mean, I think PlayStation definitely took the, the award in that. But I think in terms of, like, presentation and just like overall hype for its launch i think xbox did a lot better job okay yeah because you know people i think people will are a lot more excited for games that they're familiar with that they know are you know really good right for example halo forts uh you had halo you had forza you had state of decay uh you had the psychonauts which is an old old game that many old-time gamers will recognize um and then at the end you had like fable which you know i, oh, thought, I know like that which, totally caught me on guard yeah for sure. that i thought that game was like completely done for you know i think when the when the last one released well i think um, it's a new studio now because during the the pre-show they were talking about it saying that yeah. somebody actually took over uh fable now so it's not the yeah. original developers but i mean for them just to bring it back like, oh yeah that's yeah. totally exciting you know for sure i mean for sure but it's like you know it's you hear that they did took it over by studio but you don't really know if it's going to come to fruition until you see like the, the trailer. now we got confirmation mm -hmm. man that's going to be good but i mean what was the game that you're most excited for in the showcase uh I mean, I was going to say Halo, but then Fable came out. <laughs> so the first and last one, honestly, it's just like, it's like, it's, 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 I think it's, that's like what took, took the cake for the entire show. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, they didn't give us no date or anything. So I'm kind of curious, like how the, that trailer is, you know, how long it's going to take. Cause you well, know, they said hey, holiday 2020. So oh, I'm assuming holiday 2020. Yeah, for some of the games, I said Holiday 2020. So no, I'm I was assuming... talking about Fable, though. It didn't say anything. Oh, right? Fable. I don't know. I don't think it said yeah, anything. So it's like, is it a year said, or two from now? I think it's like... 21. Oh, okay. I think it said 21. Um, yeah, I mean, I think, I mean, that looked, I mean, honestly, that trailer looked more like a teaser than anything because it was like really short. And yeah, it, and there was like no gameplay, no like cinematic or anything like that. Right. It was just like a general based like teaser like you said yeah uh i am also super excited for that new warhammer 40k game that's oh, that, uh, they announced. that one looks interesting yeah, yeah. dawn tide or dark dark tide dark tide yeah uh i want i mean i'm kind of curious to see like what kind of formats it in because usually warhammer games are like a rts uh format where you you know you took a strategy game mm -hmm. uh but they have like in the past made games for like an fps um 
So I wonder if like this is if this new Warhammer is gonna be more of like a push to like shooter game, a shooter genre. Yeah, like a first yeah. person almost. Yeah, inside like the Warhammer universe, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, or is it gonna be like kind of like a hybrid between FPS and like a, a RPG? Mm -hmm. You know, where you get to like explore different things, but um, yeah. I, don't know honestly i don't know what to expect but i'm i'm excited for it regardless like i just want yeah to... i think besides halo i'm excited for the state of the k3 only mm. because i like that survival like zombie apocalypse type games uh yeah yeah i mean honestly it, i thought that was it was going to be something like rust initially which is just like you survive and you gather materials and you just yeah. off the land but yeah, I mean, finding zombies is a nice twist as well. Well, I mean, that's what State of the K2 is kind of like, is exactly what you said, you know, right. looting and creating a base and stuff like that. But I mean, I wasn't expecting to see State of the K3. Mm. So yeah. uh, that's pretty interesting. So yeah, I mean, it sounds like, I mean, well, they said like they had like 15 new studios uh, under the Xbox Game Pass uh, brand. So, I mean, I, honestly, I was, I was actually I was expecting a lot of new games to be coming out but they came up with more triple a titles that uh were from like earlier times mm -hmm. was there a game that you wish you would have saw today um a game i would have saw today i i don't well there are games but i don't think they're like exclusive to xbox that microsoft corporation oh okay yeah can you give us like maybe like a few games though that you maybe you wish that you would have saw? Because I mean, not all the games that they announced was only exclusively for Xbox, you know. Well, they're either exclusive to Xbox or Xbox and PC. Okay. Yeah. Well, so I mean, they were talking about the 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 sacrifice of what's her name? Oh, and so that was on PlayStation too. Yeah. Oh, was it? Yeah, and I'm pretty sure. Um, the neighbors one was on okay. on PlayStation also. Oh, okay. Um, I guess I was kind of expecting something from Bethesda, uh, Bethesda Studios, because we saw a lot from Obsidian, uh, and the two have collaborated in the past. But I was I was hoping to see something from Bethesda about their new Starfield uh, project, mm -hmm. which is like uh, their science, their sci-fi genre game. Um, they're the ones that created like the Elder Scrolls and Fallout. Oh, I was about to say you're kind yeah. of cheering for Fallout Vegas. Well, so Obsidian Studio, Obsidian Entertainment was the one that created New Vegas, uh, Fallout New uh -huh. Vegas, um, under the publishing title of of uh, Bethesda. So yeah. I was like, <laughs> that's why I was I was hoping because it was a really good game. Uh, not gonna lie. But um, yeah, I was hoping something from Bethesda at the very least because I didn't see anything at uh, the Sony press conference. Mm -hmm. So I and I haven't heard anything back from them about any of the new games. You know, uh, I mean, maybe we. I mean, yeah, we've heard stuff about Fallout seventy six, but nothing about like Starfield or the new, a new Fallout game or even like a new Elder Scrolls six game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, when they were showing off like the modern combat game, it was like mm -hmm. the military based one. Yeah. I was like you. I was hoping that we were probably going to get like a new Splinter Cell game. I think that would have been dope. Oh, oh, the um, when it was like that Spec Ops like agent game, and you were like, "Oh man, is this like a Tom Clancy game?" Yeah, I think it would have been dope if they introduced like a new Splinter Cell game. That would have been nice. We haven't we haven't we haven't had a new one in a while now. Splinter Cell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, uh, I think the last one was Blacklist. I don't remember. I thought it was like Rogue or something. Oh, no, no. Yeah, I think it was Blacklist. But I okay. mean, that would have been cool to see. Or maybe like a teaser for like a new Diablo. We already have a... Well, what do you mean? Oh. Like a new trailer or something, you know, like an update of like the new Diablo or something, you know, that would have been dope. But Diablo is more... It's a Blizzard, uh, it's a Blizzard title. So usually they would show it like on their own showcase. Oh, okay. Cause like they had that they had that trailer for Diablo Four, out right. The new trailer for Diablo Four. Yeah. Oh yeah, that quick tease one. No, I just mean like a, just an updated like version of like a trailer or something is what I'm saying. Oh, I see. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, I guess it would have been nice. But yeah, I feel like for any Blizzard titles, they would probably announce it on like, mm. their own their own expo. Or, or, or I think I would would have been cool to see um, when they're showing off like uh, scenes like in the forest and stuff. I thought mm-hmm. they were gonna give us like a new Conquerors Bad Fur Day game. That would have been dope. It I don't know if you ever played that Conquerors Fur game. Conquerors Bad Fur Day. Bad Fur Day. Yeah, it was like an adult comedy, kitty stylish game mm. that was on the Xbox. Yeah, I don't think I've been, I don't think I've ever heard of it. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I mean, that would have been cool to see, too. But, I mean, overall, I thought it was a really good Xbox showcase. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, I think it was a lot better than the uh, Sony one. Okay. Well, um, what do you guys think? Did you guys watch it, or did you guys follow with us? Let us know in the comments. Um, until then, we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Jeremy here with MetaHuman. If you like geek news and entertainment, then make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and hit that notification bell for more updates.